recently, we did a presentation talking about work on our new decentralized delivery network, delivering people, pizza, and packages, sometimes all at once. It's made possible by Fetch AI's unique autonomous economic agent technology, supported by AI and machine learning, and a high performance underlying ledger that supports advanced smart contracts. We showed a management user interface on top of our current decentralized delivery prototype, and several have asked us to see this in a little more detail. Today I'm going to walk through this in more detail, showing you what everything represents and looking at what's going on behind the scenes. Let's take a look at the architecture diagram. The system is split into six parts. We have the blockchain. This can be any number of blockchains that the agent accepts payments in. The SOEF handles registration of an agent and search. The peer-to-peer -peer layer allows the agent to communicate with other agents. The agent, of course, is made up of many parts. The connection object handles the agent's connection and communication to Kafka, peer-to-peer, -peer, and SOEF. The contract object handles the interface to contracts deployed or engages with by the agent. Protocol defines the communication structure the agent supports. Skill contains the logic of the agent, how an agent defines its strategy, what connections it makes to a database, and how it's controlled by the simulation. In the demo we've shown, the simulation is effectively keeping control of state and location of the agents in the system. As part of our centralized layer, Kafka receives messages from our agents. This in turn is collected by the WebSocket server, which is then displayed on our front-end user interface. The system is modular in architecture and supports us adding, removing and replacing components as the system grows and if and when more features are required. It has been designed to take us to a real-world deployment of the DDN during this year. The UI is showing three things that will ultimately be independent components. A simplified representation of the service provider app, one of the consumer app, and also a management overview showing us what's going on under the hood. In the center, we have a map that visualizes activity in the DDN. Value providers are drivers, in this example with cars, but could also be vans, motorbikes, or push bikes. Consumers are passengers here, but it represents anything carried by the DDN. We're showing these app representations on the left. There are two tabs which give you an overview of the kind of things that each app will provide. It's important to note that these apps are just interfaces to autonomous economic agents. Here are some options for the value provider, vehicle type and other constraints, and then a button to launch an agent. Let's press it. We've now created a driver, which we can see on the map. Now let's click over to the passenger and launch one of those. We now have two agents, a driver and a passenger. On the right panel, we can see the DDN overall status. We can monitor the escrow smart contracts that handle the payment and see other activity. Behind the scenes, we can view the status messages as the system starts to work. You can see the FIFA style negotiations taking place. Technology wise, the AEAs are finding each other using the simple OEF, which acts as a decentralized search and discovery mechanism, and then communicating using our agents frameworks peer to peer network. Once they've negotiated an acceptable deal, a smart contract is deployed, and we can see that happening here. Here's the code for the smart contract. It's a pretty simple escrow contract, and we're working on broader ones that involve additional parties relating to dispute resolution and providing more advanced functionality. This one is in Solidity, showing interoperability with an existing technology, but for low-cost, high-performance interactions we have on our mainnet and testnet, and also an up-and-coming mainnet revision called Agentland that'll be perfect for this. Whilst we're here, we'll fire off a script to deploy a lot more DDN agents, so we can make this more busy. It's worth noting that we've had over 400 passengers and nearly 300 drivers operating simultaneously with all agents running on one machine. In a real world environment, the representative agents that represent value providers and passenger consumers will run on the user's mobile device, and there are no compound scale issues with there being 10, a million, or a billion of them. Okay, so now we've got a lot more going on. We can see the contracts here on the right, and we can watch the drivers and passengers handling random routes. We have written a simulation that deals with passenger route requests, then one or more drivers negotiate and the delivery will take place. This precise architecture can handle packages, food, and passengers, and is designed to scale to provide the full DDN, where multi-stage scheduled deliveries involving more than one mode of transport can be seamlessly provided by the overall network. 
We've already demonstrated integration with verifiable credentials last year to provide a trusted environment between the consumer and the provider, and we're expanding this this year along with the full digital identity. Here on the left, we have a simple single tab representation of what the apps need to do in order to test and show a simplified but complete layer on one page. In the coming months, these will be independent apps specifically designed to work in the decentralized agent-based environment that Fetch AI provides. Finally, let's have a look at the back end of the simple OEF. We can see that there are agents here. They're not all related to this part of the DDN, as you can see. There are several thousand agents connected right now. They represent hotels, trains, railway station, car parks, and more. And all of these can be found, talked to, and transacted with as part of the DDN, or to provide novel new visualizations and more. The software is available now, the simple OEF is running, and the agent framework is available to download and use, and the peer-to-peer -peer network it uses for negotiations is fully functional. Our new agent land ledger, specifically adapted to deliver the perfect world for AEAs to get useful work done, is due at the end of this month. In the meanwhile, our existing tests and mainnet are there for agents to use. More and more of this code behind these agents is being released, and you can adapt it and deploy agents yourself anytime and interact with ours. Join us in building the Fetch AI Decentralized Delivery Network, delivery for the 21st century.